Right, oh, here is, here is Necro. Um, so he might get, he might really, it's a wizard or chain, at least he can't have both. He might not have sure hands. He doesn't have sure hands. He does have a strength four wolf though, which is outstanding. And a mighty blow one, but he doesn't have block, so he, he'll be a little bit of a, you know, a bit of a double-edged sword. Block mighty blow fleshies is good, isn't it? Another mighty blow, so he's got, oh man, three mighty blow, a claw and a claw mighty blow. And he's got guys to foul with. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve players. See what his record is. Five one three. All right, that's that's encouraging then, despite his bad ass team. Yeah, that's what I mean. We we weren't that low TV, but we played about ten games, and by that ten games, Necro were already starting to take over and dead, weren't they? Um, like although that game was an aberration in terms of dice rolls. That we had. I mean, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't the odd team that was that much better that they pitch cleared me, or that you played that much better that you pitch cleared me. That was just a really crazy game of dice. But already, I wasn't. I wasn't liking my chances. You know, I thought already the the necro would. Even after only about ten games, the necro were already starting to pull head of undead. I think. Yeah, if you had infinite team value, high elves would would definitely have a lot of potential, wouldn't they? Because they would have four super war dancers. No, they wouldn't even know four shit war dancers. <laughs> but still, you know, plus they'd have the blitzers and everything. But yeah. Yeah, I, I regretted I regretted the undead in the, in the first season of UK VPL, even though I never played the second season. But even even by the end of the first season, it's like we're already getting outclassed by Necro. And Necro would have been been uh, been good forever. Dells, yeah, but a lot of people would. Yeah, Dells are just better. Right? The, the problem the problem with high elves is dark elves are just better. <laughs> Basically. Six early blood tells a lot of attrition, yeah, absolutely. And and while high elves are one of the better teams at two turning, um, and one turning, I mean they can get a natural one turner, which which dark elves can't. But you know, passing and catching just isn't as effective as blitzing and surfing, is it? Yeah, that 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 is it, really. Juegos de Lanya, it's true. You've literally just got two blitzers equal two blitzers, right? Two blitzers equals two blitzers. That's a wash. Assassins don't exist. Throwers and runners cancel each other out anyway. If you want to take either of them, so all you're looking at is four ca two catchers versus two witch elves, and two catchers versus two blitzers. And I would rather take the blitzers and the witch elves every time. So, yeah. He did get Cheney, so at least he hasn't got a wizard. But he does have two strength four werewolves. Um, and a bribe. And 13 players. Hmm. Interesting. The tree might get taken down here, might he? But then he do, he's done his job if he uh, if he gets everyone to fight him. Oh, the thrower! The thrower's protected. <sighs> yeah. I literally have to do this to protect these guys, don't I? Because they can they can run around with Cheney or something. Yeah, 
yeah, Cheney's really good, isn't he? Because um, he got he got punched one time, Dino. Um, <laughs> it was against somebody who had Wood Elves, and the first block he made, Kaz the War Dancer. Then I dodged with the War Dancer, with the other War Dancer, and got Kaz. So I had to play the 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 the, the runner, the movement, you know, uh, the catcher had to play, and then he got blocked and uh, minus minus movement, and the apple was a death. So that was good. He doesn't get blitz he hasn't got blitzed often, I tell you. Yeah, it was a classic apple. It's the only perm this team's taken on a positional. Yeah, it was the other woodies, yeah. The other random woody you know. <laughs> survived all these games against, you know, three tree men and uh chainsaws backed up with double bribes. Survived those games. And then <laughs> and then it just a fucking <gasps> random wood elf team. <laughs> just <laughs> Just fuck see it. <laughs> that is that is Blood Bowl. Oh man, a strength four wolf is so good, isn't it? And he's got two reserves so he can do loads of fouling. So yeah, I like I like I like the Cheney bribe bribe combination here. Cheney's just so good, isn't he? Yeah, Mighty Blow is a bit I can see the point because you get them more skills on them, but the oh wow, the only skills you want on them are block and guard anyway, aren't they? So while while going mighty blow first gets you your second skill click, it does let you do this though randomly, doesn't it? Against people, you can just go first block kill and stuff, and uh, and then feel good about yourself. So there's something to be said for mighty blow first, isn't there? <laughs> Hello, super VIP. Vulvies and Cole. Yeah, more fouling. Yeah. Maybe I should have appled it. Because it was a two player swing. It means he's he's definitely going to foul 16 turns, basically. Judah Sin, James Ad, yeah. Fucking Judah Fagor. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it was a good reroll, wasn't it? Double skulls in the in the death. I think he has less assists if I no, that's the same amount of assists. Oh, I didn't break on no. No, actually, no, he's, he's not going to foul anyway unless he fouls with a mighty blow gun. No. I feel bad about this game already now. I think this is going to be the first loss. This is a really a good idea to, to not split him in half, but I just think if I spread my guys around, that's going to be an okay thing to do.
Hey. So that I can protect my good, I can protect my war dancers. Not my good players, but. I can always just go back in front of him after this. I didn't try to stand up the tree. I just assumed I'd tried and failed. I just literally assumed I'd tried and failed. What the fuck? And he would have got just two dice down by a fucking guy, so it wouldn't be so bad. Plus it might draw a gang foul now. <laughs> You've just been 2D down by a fucking... Block mighty blow, but yeah. I did do it by mistake. <laughs> Didn't even kill him. Yeah, he's probably just going to get into a big cage now. Right, well, that's okay, isn't it? Might go for the leap uphill strip. Might not be bad. Might have to just play properly and try to screen him off. Imagine that. Just fucking playing Blood Bowl. Who would have thought? Feel the punch there. Wolf to punch there. Wolf to punch there, okay. Surprise, I was bluffing. <laughs> go here to protect him from a frenzy hit. And Mr. Throw can do what he's best at, which is punching werewolves <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Get to fuck. <laughs> Kill myself before doing that. that. That's the problem with throwers, isn't it? In general, is that just punching people is way more important than throwing passes. It's why throwers aren't good and why blitzers are good. Mr. Throw was, uh, I was playing a guy and he was new to Blood Bowl and he had all default names apart from one guy 
And that one guy was an org thrower who was called Mr. Throw. <laughs> Which was pretty amazing. Yeah, he's, he's 5 2 3 or something from just clicking buttons because he's been smashing people with mighty blow and werewolves, I guess. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty good, isn't it? Smashing people with mighty blow. Oh, I hate it. People always make the dodge away from trees against me. Fuck heads. Okay, do I give him a wrestle guy or a rookie guy? A dodge guy? Give him a dodge guy. Could blitz him and then block him, but it doesn't really achieve much, does it? Guess it would be better than better than uh, not blocking. But then this could be a three dice. Yeah, I guess it'd be in a better spot if I blocked him. All right. Oh no, there's a guy there. Oh fuck! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's he's eight. No. Oh, forget that then, he can just block him. Oh, God, I've got a GFI. Blitz. Oh, maybe I do do this blitz. I think I do the blitz even though I don't like it. That makes kind of frenzy things. Yeah, that was pretty good. Right. Maybe a bit overcommitted this here. Woody's can just reposition, can't they? Almost, but not really. Yeah, a golem would have been amazing. Yeah. Like the thing was, the tree block would have been a three dice, wouldn't it? Which would have been safer, but there wasn't really a good blitz to make, I don't think. So I think that. Give more value to that. Thanks, CR new. He's not really going forward, is he? So that's that's good. Might be able to stall him out. Can block with us. Cut that guy with a strength two catcher, which is funny. Not blitzing with Cheney. If he stands him up, he's just getting blocked down. He's not fouling, which is glorious. I could chain the chain the tree into the cage here. 
He's really going crazy, aren't he? And I could still just leap in and fucking uphill him anyway. What is he? Four, five, six. Could just leap in and, and uphill strip him anyway. Could push him there. To here. And then he could... He could put someone in there and he could block him. And he could go into there. So push him to there with the first one and there with the second one. Yeah, alright, I've got to do the tree play, haven't I? Right, so he pushes him. Gotta be him. That's a shame, isn't it? If it'd been a push, if it'd been a push, I could have put a guy in there, blocked him again, pushed the tree in, <laughs> and just smashed the ball <laughs> with a tree. That would have been amazing. Maybe just blitz him and then... I don't want to do the leap strip play. Blitzing this guy doesn't seem worth it. Blitzing him would mean assist there as well, wouldn't it? Does mean he's getting punched over there. This stops the reverse a bit. Do I base the ball? Hub dub, base, base, base. He is straight, but he can't hit with a ball carrier. And I've got to stand firm, so I guess I do hub dub, base the ball anyway. Shit. Don't, be, don't hub dub, base the ball. Do splat the fuck out of a ghoul though. Oh, I could have blitzed and got the train with a blitz. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, I could have done. Oh fuck. I should have read chat. I should have read chat and got better. Fuck. Where was the guy? He was here. Could I have done it still? I don't know if I could have done it. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, cause this this is still a bit of a screen here, isn't it? This is still a decent screen. Shame shame that he rooted though. Still got two players on him though, including a flesh golem. So it's good that he's got a flesh golem on him. And if it makes it if he makes it easy to hit the strength four guy, I can go for the uphill strip, can't I? No, he wasn't already rooted, no, because then you can't choose to not use stand firm. I got one push and then... And then it failed after that. Three D from the tree clears the ward answer. That guy can punch the white. Oh 
god. Mighty Blow Werewolf wants to get punched, doesn't he? No, it wasn't wasn't possible. Fair enough. I like would have I would have liked to have thought I would have seen it if it was. I like how he keeps getting the <laughs> the guard around, like like he needs guard for strength for ball carrier, and like guard is going to help against strip. So, is Cheney a scoring threat? Probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. So maybe just blitz Cheney rather than mighty blow wolf. Just screen against Cheney. I, I like knocking down the furthest forward guy. This is a 1 in 27, would have to use it. Oh, I want it. Alright, good. Stay here, please. Is it worth putting him down? I guess so. Him going, that stops the foul, doesn't it? And then this dodge shows up. Shores up uh, the defence. He can kind of sideline, but then he's really at danger of uh, of ward answer bullshit, isn't he? Suck not being able to get a player to here, really did. He does have a bribe, yeah. And he hasn't fouled at all, despite having. 14 players after turn, after the first block, so pretty happy he hasn't been fouled. Risky stuff for 2 plus without dodge, it was. Really bad in another guy here, I think. Oh, gets powered. Stop the wardens are getting fouled though. <laughs> so, you know, there was that. Yeah. Yeah. The massive cage, it's not bad, is it? Because it discourages me leaping in. If he left him kind of exposed, I could get in the system and one dice him and then he, he, he loses, doesn't he? So, it's hard to criticise for people being overcautious when they're, when they're down a bunch of TV to, uh, to fucking Woody's, you know? But yeah, I mean, yeah, the other turn he had a crazy... It was crazy bunched up the other turn, yeah. Yeah, that, that, was, a bit, that was a bit excessive. But then he was, he was protecting the wolves from getting blitz, wasn't he? So... 
Come on, fill the first one. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Right. So now, we should be able to. Get a piece of the action. <laughs> I didn't do safe moves first, did I? I don't have any safe moves first except this one. He dodges to there. He goes one, two, three, four, five. And then he goes. So he could blitz. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Nine. And then I knock the ball down, get war dancers surfed. It doesn't really seem worth it, does it? I think it's better to just blitz this one. And wait for a better chance. Because he's got two turns left, he's so fast he can he can do stuff. Blitzing him would be good into the tree. Which would free him to stand here, which would be nice. But I mean he just gets served at the moment. To be fair, he rolled a double one, but that would have been a really good one to stand there, two dice him, keep him based. I don't know. When he gets movement, yeah, that's true, Svaha, yeah. Yeah, you can't ignore Cheney, yeah, that's the thing. And then obviously fail the dodge out, but then, yeah, could have rolled double scores there. Anyway, he's got to do something this turn anyway. He's got to get in scoring range this turn, hasn't he? And if he doesn't get in a scoring range, or even if he does get in a scoring range, there's the possibility of getting somebody in a range to score anyway. Getting the power instantly means that he is based. He doesn't want to dodge with a loner, does he? So he's gonna, it's going to be a bit of a potato here, I think. Maybe I should have gone for the ball, I don't know. Maybe I should have gone for the ball. That turn. I just thought if I fail, even if I succeed, he can just get the ball and run. Like, you know, even if I powered him to here, he's getting mighty blow hits, he's getting surfs, he's got all the players here, I don't know recovery. But now he gets to just, you know, now he gets to fucking get a chance next turn, doesn't he? That's a leap, leap surf though, leap uphill surf, got to go for it, haven't I? Oh, now I can't, clever dingo. Oh no, not a clever dingo. Could one dice Cheney and leap. And, oh, no, he's moved him. Is he watching? He seems to be doing better moves sometimes. <laughs> yeah, double leap serve. I'd rather do the one dice block here, though. And then. It's better, isn't it? It's just a single leap surf, isn't it, at the moment? The single leap surf to get my own guy surfed. Oh wow. Just uphills a tree. Get fucked, idiot. Right. Now, that's not so easy now, is it? Do I just leap? 
and then there's no even rolls to get here. It would just be a push, wouldn't it? The, see, my idea was one dice block him for there, and then fill in this square, and then blitz him to push him out that way. Because I don't really like the idea of forcing me, forcing my war dancer to get served. Eight times out of nine, I make it. Surf the ball. And then see what happens after that. I guess I just go for it. What's the alternative? Blitz him. Screen. One, two, three players to get there reliably. He could dodge out. So you have four players here. And then he could dodge out. Might be better to play it safe. GFI to cancel him, one dice him. But then, then I can't do it though because you know, then I'd have to, uh, he's put him there so I'd have to fill in this square. So. I just think I'd do it. Eight times out of nine it works. Yeah, I should have played it safe. I could have just elf screened. I mean, I was a bit greedy because this gave a chance of a 1-0, didn't it? That was all. It was just being greedy. One nil up was would have been really good, and I guess this way I've still got a chance to be one one instead of nil nil. So yeah, maybe it was worth it. They were both they were both eight out of nine shots, weren't they? Um, but I, I was committed after the first one. It was a good spot moving this guy. If he hadn't moved this guy here. Then um, I would have totally gone for the one dice on Cheney. And then this could have even been two dice in for the surf here. Well, would have been two dice for the surf there. So that was a huge, huge move that he made, moving him, putting him there. The thing is, I can just make it 1 1 anyway, can't I? So, so stopping the score wasn't. Wasn't so good anyway, really. So yeah, I think it, maybe it was the right play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, if that gap wasn't there. If that gap wasn't there, because to fill the gap would be another three plus, so it'd been a three plus to to block Cheney, and then a three plus to fill the gap. So, um, if if he hadn't put the ghoul there, yeah, then then stood in that gap, and then uh, yeah, and then yeah, Cheney pushed the ball. That was my because then I could have made it two dice on the ball there, two di a two dice blitz, and then that would have been really good, wouldn't it?
back lining it. I could try to get the Blitter forward to one dice. Maybe. So he blocks to there and then follows. So he's here. Someone goes in there, and then he blocks him, which pushes him to there. So someone goes in here, maybe him, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He blocks him there, follows, he blocks him, pushes him to there. And then someone can block from here. I would get the two pushes, wouldn't it? And then two pushes on him. He would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GFIs punches him to make the dodge easier. Oh, so I'm having to re-roll this, but if it works, it's good, isn't it? Let's go for this now. I don't know if I've got a re-roll for the block. So GFIing to one dice him is probably better, isn't it, than uh, than just going for all the dodges here. I think it'll be better. Then, or should I not even try to score? Should I just try to score in two turns? I don't know. I've done it now. Good. 
Oh, that was the good thing about scoring soon. It was more chance to KO's back, wasn't it? You can have the thrower now. He's done his job. <laughs> He's done his job was a classic line from somebody we knew who played magic cards. And uh, <laughs> he had he had some some fucking amazing card. Like, uh, you know, fucking, I can't remember what it was, but it's some, some really good creature that had done something of fantastic relevance. Like, he, you know, he, 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 he killed something or he blocked something. And, then, and rather than keeping it alive is, is, uh, is like game, game winning thing. He's just like, he's done his job and, uh, and let him die, which is pretty funny. I guess just one apart. He does have frenzy and shit, but hopefully he won't be able to do it. And if plus if he one turns, I just one turn back. <laughs> <laughs> Filthy elves. Is more chances to get hello VIP so the morning. Is more chances to get killed, but I mean, no one good, no one can better can get killed than Senai. This is two, two fails now for the, uh, for the ward answer and for the lineman. Obviously, the lineman not so relevant, but. Yeah, one turn war would be funny, wouldn't it? So really, this is the same as if I'd, as if I'd got the, you know, done the banks. If I'd done the elf screen and stopped him scoring, this is the same spot, except I've got more KO rolls. So. Well, one more KO roll, it should have been. As it happens, it's two more KO rolls, but as you say, more chance to get KO'd. But I mean, that wasn't part of the plan because the, the riot happened, didn't it? A natural one turn is disgusting. Rough match I've been here for, for Brett's is all dwarves. I think the uh, I think the movement advantage is the hardest the hardest advantage to leverage into a victory for sure. I think he's just punching things, isn't he? He's probably just gonna punch the tree then follow it. Keep the game alive for Eren to one of just starves to death. <laughs> so yeah, this could lose the tree here actually, thanks to this ride. Pretty annoying ride it could be. Ooh, could blitz could blitz Cheney here possibly? Definitely. Do not use this better, isn't it? Because injured, fucking unbelievable. He did get the tree. <sighs> wow. Well, that riot is disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> that fucking riot cost us a dead tree, man. Dead, but for the game. Now he just gets to foul a fucking another player. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I don't. I don't hate the play of of, uh, of just blitz for you know block fouling the tree. This isn't going to be easy though, is it? Second half now. <laughs> Unless these come back. No fucking players. Oh, he's got guard. Oh my god, I'm a fucking tool bag. Should have hit him, eh? He can do a completion. He'd rather do a completion, wouldn't he? He's on 30. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. I got it. I got it after I did it. All right, brilliant. So we're on. We're on one out of nine KO rolls succeeded. No, yeah, no seven. One out of seven KO rolls. Rough. Very rough. So few players now. Eight. And no tree to distract the noob. <laughs> Do I just go for the one turn? is really bad. Now nice. as well, the dry is going to be tough, isn't it? It's going to be literally tough to score because he's got so much strength and wrestle and everything. Throwers lost. He blocks him to there and he blocks him. There. He comes into here. Then he blocks him, then he comes in to there, he goes into there, he blocks him. So it's not easy, is it, to actually get through here, but I'll try. Fuck it. See what happens on the LOS. Can always change a plan if the LOS blocks don't work. Alright, it's good. An outrageous kick. could pass to him and then he could hand off. LOS at least. Pr 
Sanskrit Mimnarian. I think I've got to do the one dice blitz here. use him that I didn't want to have to use he was his job was to after he got blocked down he was to stand in there so I could put an assistant and block him now I just think I go for the one dice don't I? it's got to be better the push means just a two plus so yeah I've got to do it he could dodge away and he could go in there, then it could be two. Oh, then there's the block in the way, then anyway. Oh. That isn't so good, is it? That isn't what I thought it was. Fuck. Still happen. No, oh, it did. Wow, the base lost two in a row and then deleted his team. Wow. Because it was still an amazing record, wasn't it? Even with two losses in a row. What? Okay, they came back. Thank God. I was like, what the fuck? Alright, so, with those guys back, might even stop them scoring here. Or get a defensive score. Because the fact that I didn't go for any leaps, you might think that I'm uh, I'm not someone to go for leaps. And obviously I will go for a leap if I have to. So, that's good. But I mean, I might have to go for a leap now as well. Because this is desperate times, isn't it? Strength one. <laughs> Might as well just one turn. What the fuck? <laughs> he doesn't have tackled at all, does he? But he does have three wolves. Yeah, that thirteen one zero is the actual record again. Yeah, it's not bad. Thanks, Connie. But no, this one and change the title. This one could definitely be. I mean, it shouldn't be a loss as long as the one turner doesn't die. Um, but it could it could be a loss, and obviously, definitely could be a draw. Yeah, first of all, because it gives the kill, and second, it wasn't easy to start or even score. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. To be fair, there was there was two eight out of nine gambles, and if I if I'd used the rear on the leap, I probably wouldn't have gone for the serve. I guess I was kind of committed, but I could have still changed tack after the after the leap, or I could have done safe moves first, and then gone for the leap in. He's been reminded that he's got a bribe. Shit. Ooh, perfect kick. Coffin kick, isn't it? No, nearly. Yeah, this next game again is rough, isn't it? But the fact that his team has some movement for Agility 2 players is good, isn't it? Quite a few movement for Agility 2 players. Oh, 
That's good as well. Could feel the pickup into the. It might be better to not even try the pickup here. No. The tree has 13 star player points. 1D chain, leap from neither. Yeah, but the 1D'd fail though, didn't it? I mean, that, that would have still failed. Chill it up. Yeah, I could have leaped near the ghoul, yeah. Yeah, maybe I could have done. But then I would have failed. I, I failed the two three pluses anyway, didn't I? So. Yeah, chain equals chain, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, one dice. One dice. I could have one dice Cheney and then gone the leap in. But then it's extra rolls though, isn't it? But it makes the surf, so... It's just more... I think that's just worse, yeah. It wouldn't have given... Yeah, it wouldn't have given up the surf, yeah. True. True, it wouldn't have given up the surf. Yeah. But it would have been harder to do. It would have been more dice rolls. And, and also higher chance of turnover. Because the one dice surf wasn't a turnover and a both down on the second result. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for it though. Right. I mean, I have to. I have to put him in that other half and screen him, just because it's too good, isn't it? And he still let me split his team here without even rolling dice. The only problem is having a million fucking werewolves is uh, and pushes on this guy being no good is fucking annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I should just blitz him. Yeah, and it's 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 always I I I agree, Julia. I always think I always think it's strange when people when people like play bad turns and good turns. I mean, he, he's always got the handoff to Cheney. That's the thing. So let's keep him a little bit back. I don't know. This is a tough tough thing to do. I don't really want anybody blitzed by a werewolf. Could put a bit of a team here. So he's he's kind of safe. And then a bit of a team here as well.
should have put it in there. I can just hit, that's not a screen. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you can just hit, can't he? Oh my god, that was pathetic. I've just given up the movement catcher for no reason, with no pressure. Oh god, that was terrible. <gasps> he should have been here, shouldn't he? Yeah, he's going straight for him. Fuck. If I if I if I fucking hit in the sector of the team and and like you know, blitz this guy or whatever and put loads of pressure on it, it'd been all right. But I've just <laughs> given him up for a three D, haven't I? Oh, oh man, fail the reroll in the crowd. Game over. Not into the crowd, but still, still maybe game over. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's all I do then, isn't it? Just go for the pickup. Um, maybe blitz somebody, but then I don't roll dice and fail. Can move these guys around, I guess. I don't want to roll any dice other than necessary, necessary ones. That's how you do it, buddy. That's how you pick the ball up. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, um, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Wolfies and Colter for the bits. What I should have said was agility three <laughs> with movement is the hardest uh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, that was that was disgusting, wasn't it? <laughs> That was disgusting. <laughs> it is, isn't it, Sparrow? I was thinking of, like, you know, the, the fail pickup into the crowd, but I didn't even think that he could have just had, like, you know, there wasn't the three in the crowd, there was also the other three, wasn't there? That was some pure gutter runner shit, yeah. After, he should have gone for the three dice hit on him first, really, shouldn't he? <laughs> After I exposed him to the three dice hit. Yeah, I mean, it easy could it be? It could be a uh, the, if it was if this this could be a gutter runner um, without mutation. But um, if he was a gutter runner, he would have plus movement, block, catch, sprint, sure feet. So he'd have five skills instead of only four. So that's nice, isn't it? He is currently better than a gutter runner would be on the same number of skills. But yes, he would have the potential of of, of, uh, of more if he was a And if he was a gutter, he would be um he would have he wouldn't have taken catch, obviously. He would have taken something better. Yeah, it's capped at ten.
Yeah, maybe I should have sat back, yeah. Maybe I should have sat back. Um, but I think by by going forward, he's he's got to push forward, then I can retreat. You know, it gave me room to retreat. Whereas if I started off back, I wouldn't have any more room to, to go back, if you see what I mean. That, I mean, that is absolutely Skaven there. I mean, although, although it wasn't Skaven, that was Skaven in a nutshell. Your opponent fails a 1 in 9 and loses the game. I mean, it's just fucking stupid, isn't it? I think I just tried to try, honestly, just tried to retreat now. Because while I could try to. You know, two dice him, two dice him, one dice him, get the ball, score. It would be leaving hits on the war dancers and stuff, and I just want to try and get everyone to safety now. Right, so now it is statistically better to do the dodge. However, the leap here makes it harder to foul him if I fail it. Threw away a reroll there, but if I dodged to here and failed, he's getting a fucking eight assist foul. Whereas the leap to there would have been three assist max. I yeah, maybe I should have fouled the dancer. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I probably should have fouled. The dancer can afford to foul. There's still a possibility of not being able to field three. But yeah, maybe the maybe the dancer should have fouled. Yeah. When the dancer gets blitzed, though, by Mighty Blow. <laughs> so, this way the catcher was getting blitzed by Mighty Blow. I mean, you could argue that movement 9 catch is better than a fucking random blitz war dancer anyway, I guess. Wouldn't take long to get a strip ball tackle war dancer. I'd failed the pick up there, I would have gone for the ball because it was just a huge open path and oh god, okay. He's passing it. <laughs> He's passing it to the one turn. He got the interception. <laughs> All right. All right then.
Okay. Right, this war dancer is in trouble, isn't he? Need these to save him. Oh yeah, all three players protected. on what he's on 75 jump tells 43 what oh yeah Senai wants a completion and a uh, touchdown yeah hand off to him then he passes and then hands off next turn the thrower has hasn't got any SPPs yet no no my right, hand off runs to here passes runs to there okay so I mean it's 3-1 anyway so it doesn't even matter if uh, if you get to the ball for this does it No, he's got one. He's got one, has the uh, has the thrower. Senai pass to catcher, then pass for stead catcher at Senai, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Because the, the war dancer wants to score, right? The, the war dancer needed the touchdown and the completion. So the war dancer had to get the uh, completion first. Um, no, no, injury. <sighs> Badly hurt. <laughs> the huge foul. <laughs> yeah, because obviously the war dancer can't do a pass and score on the same turn. So he had to do the he had to do the pass on fifteen. Oh 
Oh yeah. Sick sick game level than them two. As well as uh as well as just winning 4-1 randomly despite the tree miss next game. The deadline or first hit. <laughs> um yeah, it was a pretty good game, wasn't it? To be fair, Mr. Throw is normally just getting punched on the LOS, really. It's a it's a tough life being being an elf thrower. But he's also proving why I don't take them, because he's he's got one completion. And he's been 20 TV for no, you know, only used it once. Double GFI, okay, they're safe. Safe from the Cheney Blitz there. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah, to be fair, Volpe's. <laughs> VIP Volpe's in cover. Yeah, that pass did lead to one turn touchdown, yeah. In fairness, in fairness to the thrower, it did, didn't it? He had it, passed it there, handed it off. God, so. But still, it was 20 TV that he's used once in however many games he's been on the team. That, that, that's the problem, isn't it? I could do that, yeah, Clangers. I mean, that is the plan when there is eventually. But unfortunately, that's unlikely to happen, isn't it? That happens when you've got lizard men or, or dark elves. Dark elves can outbash people when you've got a mighty blow and you know, control the game and do it a lot, whereas it's a lot harder with woodies to get in that situation. With developed woodies. Thousand T V it's a lot easier to skill him up with passes like that. Early on I think. Mm, dunno. Maybe we just gotta be greedier with him. There was times when I could have been greedier, certainly. Yeah, four one, I mean after the first half after <laughs> after I failed the uh, the surf the the one day surf, I was thinking, oh, this isn't this is gonna go very badly. But luckily, luckily he, he, he failed. It was a perfect kick, wasn't it? So he didn't even attempt it. He didn't even attempt to pick up, and then he failed it. So yeah, the kick. Who needs the kick skill? Yeah, it could have easily. It could have easily ended three two. Yeah, could have done. Yeah, he he just threw the ball away, and I wouldn't have stopped him. I would have been happy with it being three two. So yeah, it it really was a three two. He just chose to make it a four one. You're absolutely correct, Jelly Deals. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, Brandhill. That's very true. Tom Brandhill would have made a million competitions. Leap is better than it is better than three dodges, yeah, Gunarkin. So if you had say a three plus dodge, and then like a two plus two plus, that you know, and you use the dodge on the first dodge, that then you want to leap. So sometimes you want to sequence them so you do the first dodge, with dodge, and then if you've used up your dodge skill, then you switch to a leap. So so there there is times, but you know, normally you go for the three plus dodge first. Oh wow, do the free reroll. Leveled up a tree. It was pretty good. He got MVP for just for just getting chopped down. Ten for a ten for a Donna Kellis there. Crazy. It's crazy having a national one turn. Wow. Yeah, T Swizzle, I thought it could have been, because he had three dogs. I mean three frenzy. Two of which were strength four is pretty you know, I've got no sidestep on this team yet. It was that was pretty hard to beat. That I and mean, it it was three two really. I mean he just went crazy with that pass and stuff. Um nine, ten, eleven. So I can get a twelfth guy again and be on a hundred K. Um Right, loads of levels. Alright, double double on the tree first, please. No. I'm thinking guard because what else can he have really? Not a lot. Um, right, this catcher here. He'll probably go sidestep. Yeah, I think he's going to go sidestep. Pretty, pretty certain of sidestep on him. 
Uh, Don Kelly's probably one sidestep as well, doesn't he? Um, I don't know what else I would take on him. Yep, sidestep. I guess a guard if I'd gone doubles. Or leap. He could he could get leap for the one turn, actually. That's a consideration, leap for the one turn. And Senai, probably one sidestep as well. Ooh, double. Mighty blow. Alright. <laughs> oh god. Alright, I don't I, right, so I'm, what I'm thinking is Mighty Blow, sidestep, sidestep and guard. Pretty good. Pretty good level ups. Um, I think I'd rather have a mighty blow than a guard. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.